hey craft lovers and welcome back to my channel um today is poor raining in new york city um i don't know if you get the lightning thunder the downpour of rain it's like really raining cats and dogs outside it's really dark um you can't tell from the lightning in here you know try to set you guys up um but today we're gonna be doing a diy with cricut new blades Cricut new blades. So let me show you the new blades before we get started. So these are the new blades. This is the, the basic blade. Let me go in so you guys can see it. Let it focus. Focus. There we go. And it's really cool. Right, this is the basic blade. This is the wavy blade. Let me see. Focus camera. Come on. the rain that is Ava that just jumped up here I don't know why it's not focusing focus camera all right that's the way we play and this is our the engraving tip and it this is with the housing and um this piece comes off and um I can change it to this blade or this blade the deep uh, the wavy blade or the um the basic blade they both change into this housing piece so keep watching and see what we can create so when cricut new tools new blades right um i wanted to use i have card stack that i'm going to use but i also wanted to try out the heavy chipboard cricut heavy chipboard with these two tools, um, I want to see how they will work. Um, I also want to see how the engraving tool works. I'm really excited about this tool. I was so happy because I was um, doing a third source, third party um, to get things engraved. So now that Cricut has it, I can do it myself. Um, so keep watching, guys. I'm going to be using all three in the video and you can learn how to use um each of these hey guys so i have the three uh cricut new blades that um i purchased this is the engraving tip with the housing i will be unpacking both of all three of these um this one has the housing and the piece gets disconnected so let's open up let's crack that open open and it comes with a engraving help booklet and it comes in English and it comes in another language on the English side on step one it tells you to place the material on the upper left corner of your mat step two says that when using thick materials like um, the craft boards that you need to take all of the white um, things on your Cricut Maker and you got to push it over so the blade can go through. And step three says when using stiff materials, make sure to support your mat um, when loading and during engraving. So make sure you put tape. So this is the engraving tip. I'm trying to take it off. I'm trying to figure out how to do it, but let me show you the point. It's pretty cool. Let me focus it on my hand so you can see it. It's a cool engraving tip. I can't wait to use this on the acrylic I have. So keep watching so you can see it at work. But yeah, this is pretty cool. Turn it around so you can see it. Pretty cool. So I'm gonna put this to the side with the instructions. And now this is the basic perforation blade and with this one it's, it's a little bit harder to open so I'm going to use my exacto knife so I'm trying to open it it's harder 
So I'm going to grab my X-Acto knife and I'm going to open it up because I'm bending it, bending it, and it won't budge. And I cut my nails down so I can't even use my nails. So yeah, the best thing to do is grab the X-Acto knife. So let me grab that. Now I'm just going to use the X-Acto knife and I'm going to cut on the lines. And don't go deep in to scratch the, the new blade tool that I just purchased. And by the way, guys, I got this from HSN. They had a sale, I believe, on the 16th, 15th and 16th of July. And I made uh, these purchases. Okay. And I am going to take this out. And I'm going to push it from the front. And it pops right out. And it comes in like a little casing, which is pretty cool. I'm going to put this to the side until I open the next one. You can see the shell casing, which is cool. You make it protect you so you don't get cut. And you can't see the blade, but once I take it out, you'll be able to see it. It's hard plastic. You can't pull it open. Um, I'll show you in a little bit how you get it out. I was thinking that you could pull it apart and maybe put it back onto it where it's like a little clip. But that's not the case so keep watching and you'll see how to get it out it's very simple so i'm just going to put the cap back on and show you at the same time let's put that to the side now this is the wavy blade and again it's hard to open so i'm going to use the exacto knife to open it and I'm going to cut on the dotted lines. I don't know if you can see it, but there's dotted lines there. And I am going to cut on the dotted line. And I'm going to use my nail to open it up. There we go. That is perfect. And now I'm going to pull it open. Pull it apart. And I'm going to push from the front and it's going to pop out. There we go. And again, it's in this little shell casing to protect you from getting cut from the blade. And this is the wavy blade. I can see that it's wavy from the shell, but you guys can't. So I'm going to give you guys a closer look. So this is the wavy blade. I'm using my hand so you can see it. It curves the blade. It curves. It's really cool. I'm trying to get my phone to focus on it. Put some light in so you can see it. You can see like the blade itself is wavy. It's like the blade is bended into a wave. This is super, super, super cool. And I can't wait to use it. Make sure y'all keep watching, keep watching. I just wanted to unbox it with you guys for the first time. And we're gonna put this to work. This is super cool. So I decided to put the white background of the case that it came out so you can see a little bit better with the lighting the wavy bent blade to give it the wave effect on cardstock or any material that you use pretty cool now this is the next blade this is the basic perforation blade and as you can see it has like little cuts in the blade it's a circular blade and in the blade in the circular blade it's like little cuts 
of precision to make sure that it cuts perfectly and um it's this is awesome last but not least a little close up on the engraved blade again i figured out how to get it off you click this button and it detaches so you click it you hold it down like this and it pops right off that is so cool so then put this to the side and let me give you guys a closer look of the engraving tool look at that look at that point oh i can't wait to use this on the acrylic i have to show for you guys today it's a pretty cool design i have and i can't wait to see how it comes out so make sure you guys keep watching and tell me what you think in the comment section below what do you want me to make next now we're in design space and this first one um is engraved the second one it's a combination this one is going to be with the basic perforation and the wave tool this one is going to be scoring as well um and cutting um these two on the bottom the red is this is the wave and the brown is also the wave i just want to give you different color variations so you can see the pattern as we do this um, first I'm going to just change the material size to give it an exact match. This engraving is going on acrylic. I want to make sure I mirror it. This one I want to change the material size as well. 8 by 11. 8 and a half by 11. And these is 4 by 6. They're really tiny. There's no need to have anything larger than that. 4 by 6. And let's continue. So once I hit continue, I'm gonna wait until connect to my Cricut Maker. It's connecting, connecting. Come on, Cricut. Takes a little while. It just updated, so there you go, connect it. So for this, you want to call, um, I'm going to start with the uh, engraving. So I'm going to browse all material. No matter of fact, I'm going to start with uh, the cardstock. So I am going to do browse material, even though I have it in my favorites. I just want to show you and you type in, I put in paper first by accident, but um if you have copy paper and you want to do it on copy paper you have the option too but um i'm gonna do it on cardstock i'm gonna click on medium cardstock i'm gonna press done and then gonna, this tells you what blade you need this is 31 so i am gonna change my tool to 31. 31 is the wavy tool, so I'm going to use this glitter cardstock and I'm going to put it on the standard mat so you guys can see the wavy tool on glitter cardstock. So I'm just going to place it on my mat. My mat does need to be cleaned, but it still sticks, so until it stops sticking, I'll clean it. But it still works. Once it's down, you want to make sure it's flat and it's down. You want to make sure it's in. And you're going to hit that arrow button. And I'm going to be using the wavy blade. Uh, there we go, wavy blade. So I'm going to put, click on the arrow. And the wavy blade is 31 click on this arrow it's going to load the mat and then I'm going to put click on the Cricut and let the Cricut cut with the new Cricut wavy blade tool so I'm going to let you guys see it I'm going to speed it up right now so the Cricut machine I'm speeding up this video it's pretty quick anyway um, and you can see as I'm puncturing out the cardstock, you can see the star is in a wavy pattern instead of the regular pattern. And the triangle is also in the wavy pattern. I'm going to also try it on the brown cardstock with the wave blade pattern. 
on brown and as you can see it gives the wave pattern as well now I'm going to be using the scoring tool, the wave blade, as well as the basic perforated blade. You can see the circle has the wave pattern. I'll show you the perforated um, card that I made in a minute, but right now I am working with the acrylic to do the engraving and you will go to the browse material section. When it prompts you and you'll put in acrylic, and then you'll click on the thickness of acrylic you have. I have two millimeters. You'll make sure you change your blade to the 41 engraving tool. And right now I am going to place the acrylic on the mat. But before I do, let me change the blade. And the blade, um, this is just the cutting blade that I have in. I'm going to put this in my little compartment. Let me close this and I am going to put on the engraving tool. That tool right there is for my sewing with the straight line blade. But right now I'm gonna put on the, take this off, I'm gonna click my button, remove it, and I am going to put on the engraving tool. And this is the engraving tool. You also have to click the button to get it on top. It's a little bit blurry, but this is 41 you to ensure that it's 41 just look on the side and it shows you the number 41 okay so let's put it on so you're gonna push the button on top of the housing and then you're gonna put it right on now I'm gonna put it right into the slot make sure it's all the way in and it clamps right in now let's get my acrylic sheet I need to make sure that I have the right mat because you need the strong mat so I am going to move all four of these to the right and then I am going to get my strong mat so you just move them over they move over pretty easy it's not that hard just slide them over just like so slide 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 and the reason why you slide into the right is because the acrylic will be on the left hand side and you need the thick layer to go under so you want to make sure that you slide it all to the right so that the material that you're using could go in and out of your Cricut machine and just slide it over now that all four are to the right side I'm gonna be using this five by seven acrylic sheet I'm gonna peel off this little layer you can see it looked blurry with it on but once you peel it off you won't see that and it has it on both sides so I'm just gonna take off one side for right now I'm sorry you guys see my ring light I need to make sure that you see everything I'm gonna put to the side now that I have the strong grip mat I'm gonna take this I'm gonna place it down on the mat make sure it's on the left side of the mat and I'm going to put it on a flat surface. You want to push it down as much as you can to get the grip on it. And you're going to use the masking tape to tape it down. And you need to make sure you tape all sides. Left, right, top, bottom, all of the sides. So that it do not move when the Cricut Maker is doing its job engraving the pattern that you have designed to go on the acrylic. So I'm gonna do that. Tape all sides. And the reason why I'm pulling it up because I don't want it too much into the center because I don't want the tape to get stuck at why it's engraving. So I wanna make sure that it's really, really like not even, like it's holding it down, but not too much where I have the the engraving going so now that is done I'm gonna do the top layer and the top layer is on and even though my dirt my mat my strong grip mat is dirty it's still pretty sturdy so until it doesn't stick at all uh, I use it until the very end and now I'm gonna take the bottom I put too much so I'm gonna pick it back up and make sure that I don't get it all the way where the pattern is 
going to be engraved. Again, when you're doing word image, you got to make sure you mirror it. For this sake, not so much because you're working with acrylic. So um, once you engrave it, you'll see it either way. But I like to mirror my images. So I'm going to, up. Oh, that happens. So you want to just take it out because it didn't go in right. So you want to hold it in place as it as you put it in so then it don't shift I'm gonna take this scoring tool out because I don't need it and I'm gonna hit that button I am gonna speed up it right now so then you guys can see it in action so I sped up the video the Cricut Maker now it's engraving and it looks so cool um, as it is engraving you just let the Cricut Maker do its job make sure that the mat goes in and out without a problem and it's not getting stuck and that's pretty much it until the end so let's see the Cricut Maker has finished so I'm gonna take it out now so before I start I'm gonna show you all the wave cut pattern car sock that I created with the Cricut wave blade so the triangle has a wave pattern the light in makes it hard with the sparkle glitter car sock but you can see that it's not a straight edge triangle the circle has a wavy pattern to it so it's not fully round it gives that wave effect which is really cool I can see myself doing like a seashell kind of wave pattern with that that looks so cool and then I have my brown square it all has the wavy pattern so if you're looking for that effect make sure you get that wave blade by Cricut super awesome super awesome all right so I didn't show you this one I said I was going to show you so this is like, I was trying to create like a house effect. So I made some windows, but they don't look like windows yet. Yep, you can't see it. Let me turn back on the light. You'll see it, it'll focus. Let's see, focus camera, focus. Yep. There we go. You see the perforated little lines on the car stock. So what you wanna do is just push that there we go and there we go we have like a little window a door and you can do that the same way here just push it open sorry guys bear with me bear with me there we go I tore it a little bit but that's fine and we have this one you just push it and it opens so this is the perforated tool it gives that effect this will work perfect on like raffle tickets you can create your own i usually buy them but now that i can make custom raffle tickets with this perforated blade this is awesome oh my goodness i love 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 this tool because i'm excited about making raffle tickets i have this idea that i want to do and i'm gonna make it happen thank you cricket for creating this blade I'm definitely gonna put it to use okay now that you see the wavy blade you saw the perforated blade um, now let's get to this engraver tool is very cool let me untape this I don't know if you guys can see it but it looks super super cool so what I read on the instructions um, with the engraving tool, you don't want to use your hands to get the plastic shavings away as the, the engraving tool did its job. So you, what you want to do is you're going to take the tape or even a lint roller and you're going to take that tape and dab it on the engraving um, that the Cricut Maker just did on the material that you use. So then those sharp little little um materials that's left over from it's designing the design that you did it picks it up and it looks super super cool super professional so i'm definitely going to be using this in the future for invitations it looks so classy elegant 
and this is cool so what I did was I made an acrylic for hubby and I and it says Mr. Mr. and Mrs. Washington so I don't know if you can see and they have these cool little stands for the acrylics which I'm gonna I have purchased from Amazon do you see it Mr. and Mrs. let me take it off it looks super cool it's super clean no fingerprints well maybe mine on the other side but it looks super dope and it says mr and mrs washington how cool is that how cool is that oh my goodness let me put a background behind it so you guys can see it a little better mr and mrs washington you could put a background behind it you can put some paint depending on your colors of your event throw some paint on it this is super cool and I'm definitely gonna be using this oh my goodness remember guys to if you like or you have a suggestion or you have a comment if you miss something leave it in the comment section below Everything used I will be listing in the description section, so make sure you check that out. Um, remember to like, subscribe, hit that bell notification, and make sure you comment below. Um, you can find me on IG, Twitter, Facebook. Um, so until next time, craft lovers, deuces.